Marcus, those nude on parasites got our recruitment video killed. Can you believe it? Oh, I believe it. Jimmy Siska's greatest fits? Uh, say it ain't so. What are we gonna do about it? Come by the hackerspace when you have a minute, and we'll figure out the best way to pay them back. Hi. Right. I got something to show you. Am I gonna like it? I'm gonna say 30 to 1 odds, I guess. Then I guess I better get it out the way. See you soon. <laughs> I want to print something on the 3D printer, but the others don't think it's gonna work. Uh, what is it? A dildo or a cat. I uh, haven't made up my mind yet. <laughs> Between a dildo or a cat? People keep talking about printing guns, except they all make them look like guns. Why can't it be a dildo or a cat or a unicorn? And then, bam! Its true purpose is revealed. Uh, sounds like you need to spend some time prototyping your unicorn dildo gun. You know, before worrying about the aesthetics. That resin is not cheap, man. It's a fair point. Nudon wants to step into the ring with us. They got our recruitment video killed on all the big social media sites and threatened to sue anyone who hosts it. This is gonna cost us a lot of followers. DMCA takedown, annoying. This is worse than annoying. This is a declaration of war. I will not be censored. Hey, Nudon's a fucking scam. <sighs> Rich people throwing away their money for some elitist circle jerk shit. This could be big for us. I mean, nobody's gonna take the side of those assholes unless they're already members. We are still gonna cornhole this fake-ass church. What's cornhole? Where the corn goes after you eat the corn, Josh. Oh. They don't like us using footage of their celebrity whore, Jimmy Siska. So let's start with him. He's our highest-profile spokesperson. But it's, it's Jimmy Siska. I mean... When I was a kid, I had the Siska glasses, the pop collar. I, I even knew every line to open wounds. Dude, me too. I even have the lunchbox. Nice. Mint condition. Nice. Just not, not Siska, okay? Just anyone but him. There's, please. there's gotta be another way, all right? I don't. He's in town shooting Cyber Driver. I was just thinking maybe we could talk to him. Fuck up his relationship with New Dawn. He can go back to being less of a douchebag. Then I could go back to wearing my Cisco tees without feeling like one. Wait a minute. You used cornhole as a verb. That doesn't even make sense in the context of you. 
Okay, okay, we focus on Siska. <laughs> New Dawn keeps blackmail records of their celebrity shills, right? We check out the local center, we just need to get in and dig up his file. Everybody in? In. I'll round up the locals and I'll meet you there. Let the cornholing begin. <laughs> you heard the man. <laughs> Cornhole. <laughs> For too long, predators have victimized the weak and the wounded under the guise of religion. The Church of the New Dawn is a scam. Yeah. Rank in the church is based on financial contribution. Loyalty is bought through blackmail and fear. They believe they are untouchable. That will soon change. DeadSec will reveal the secrets and true purpose of New Dawn. You can help. Take up a mask and protest your local recruitment center. Let their leaders know what you think of them online. Join us as we send them a message. No more. DeadSec will give you the truth. Do what you will. Distracting enough for you? You gonna go inside and take a peek, or...? Oh, yeah. Oh, and I wore my church clothes. Nice. Buy enlightenment! It only costs your life savings! All right, I'm heading in. I'll dig up what I can on Siska. We're about to go to battle with these fuckers. I need anything shady you can find. If we want to pick up followers, we need to generate some serious outrage. Can't we just make something up? If we get caught lying, everything else DeadSec ever claimed will be called a lie. Don't worry. If they've shit the bed, I'll find the dirty sheets. And in comes Marcus with the classy metaphor. <laughs> I aim to please.
advised. We have reports of previously identified target near your location. Over. Shit, I'll rip down over here! Track him down! Guys, I think we can use Siska as an ally. The man's in big trouble with the church. They're even planning an emergency audit. Audit? They're after his money. Of course they are, but this is something different. They wire themselves up to these bullshit electronic doohickeys and play psychiatrist with each other. It's cute. Siska's waiting for the auditor to show, but he's gonna get me instead. Are you serious? You're gonna wing it. So gonna wing it. First, I have to delay the real auditor. He's gonna get a call from Jimmy Siska. Yes, guys, you have to hear his Jimmy Siska impression. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't have time now. I'll be in touch. Hello? Jason, I heard you're coming for an audit today. Jimmy! Right. Right. I was just about to leave. How's it going? Not good. I think I ate one too many empanadas, my friend. My stomach is way too unstable for a session. If you catch my drift. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I get you. Violent, violent diarrhea. Yes, I understand. Can we reschedule? Yeah, we're gonna have to. I took a handful of chewables. I'll give you a call back soon. I promise. We good? 
We're cool. You take care of yourself, Jimmy. Working on it. Hey, Ghoul, what's up? I managed to snatch some new Dawn clothes for you. Gotta look the part, right? Nice. Thanks, man. No worries. Give him hell. Yes? Hi. I'm Jason Lowell. I'm here for your audit. Okay, Jason Lowell. <laughs> I hear you're the best. Come on in. Thank you for the hospitality. Please. All right, uh, let's get started, huh? Yeah, my sources tell me that you've been having some doubts about the church. I want you to tell me about that. <laughs> doubts? Well, doubts is a, it's a strong word. I'm not as inspired as I used to be, Jimmy, Jimmy, step up. Don't hide things from us. <sighs> You're right. Okay. Okay, there are rumors about this place where they take church members who are having issues, and they don't come back for a really long time, if they come back at all. I've heard these rumors, and guess what? They're just rumors. <laughs> But that's it? I'm not in trouble? For telling the truth? No. Thank you. I, I, I promise you will not regret this. Yeah, look, well, look, one last thing. I really need to get to the heart of this rumor, so do they say where this imaginary camp might be? I don't know. I don't know. I hope I never find out. Well, does it have a name? Ah, uh, the, the, the Red Room. They called it the Red Room. Oh, yeah, man, and one last thing, man. Like, your last five movies have been just disappointing as shit, so act better. All right, keep your chin up. Peace! All right, I have a new lead on how we can burn New Dawn, but I'm missing a key piece. Jimmy Siska is afraid of something called the Red Room. Jimmy Siska in? The Red Room. The Red Room seems to be some kind of rehab center where they send problematic church members. People who go there, sometimes they stay gone. If they're kidnapping people, this is potentially huge for us. This goes beyond my resources. Want me to reach out? Nah, I got this. Damn. Miranda speaking. Hi, it's me, Marcus. Marcus? All the way. How did you get my number? Right. I forgot. I need something. It's about New Dawn. Have you ever heard of the Red Room? Miranda? I'm texting you an address. Meet me there. I just need info.
Marcus, have you looked at our follower count lately? Yeah, we're making waves. We've got to make people see Bloom for what it is, Marcus. The longer it takes, the more they rely on CTOS. They'll get used to things the way they are, and the dead sect becomes a conspiracy theory fringe. It won't matter if what we're saying is true, if people don't want it to be. Yeah, but this is just the start. When we show them the shit that's brewing behind Bloom's doors, they'll join us in droves. Confidential emails has had unexpected consequences for HMP Studios. Contents of the documents expose an ongoing contentious collaboration with Galilei, the company responsible for the expensive high-tech car featured in the studio's latest blockbuster, CyberDriver. The emails reveal that a studio executive referred to the car as a useless lemon and threatened legal action against the space company. There was good news for HMP Studios, however. Following the hack, interest around the movie spiked, making CyberDriver the surprise hit of the year. Police say that the studio has yet to press charges against the hacker group. We'll keep you posted. I've got a new Bobo track the world has never heard before. How's the soundboard coming? Yo, a Bobo Jakes, bitch. Oh, <laughs> perfect. So, how do we contact Karkani? I'm gonna visit his mansion. I need to see his face when we do this. Time to mess with the farmer clown. This ass face deserves it.
Hello? Sup? Uh, sup? Who is this? Yo, bitch. It's Bobo Dice. Holy shit. I'm a huge fan. Are you taking me up on my offer? Yeah, I laid down some hot tracks. Really? Fantastic. Yup. Can I get a sample? your best work yet you're welcome this is exclusive right no one else gets this just me yep so how do you want payment the bitch better have my money i do i just need to know how to route it to you y'all check it ah there that's the routing number yep uh-huh Sent and confirmed. You got it. This is awesome, man. This is like a dream come true. Yo, bitch. It's Bobo Dace. What? They say God made man in his own image. But God made himself in Bobo's image. What are you talking about? Yo, bitch. It's Bobo Dace. No. No. No, 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 no. Whoa! What the shit? No! What? Come on, what are you guys doing to me? Why me? Come on! I'm a good guy! Jeez, it's just business! I got shareholders, bitches! Guys, guys, he just, he just donated 20 million to leukemia research. <laughs> Bitch better have my money. <laughs> Yo, who did that?
算唔卵關我事All right, I'm in the Farmington surveillance system. Just need to find an access point into their network. Nice. Looks like Farmington's been sampling Bloom's product. Do tell. They used a Bloom algorithm to search data and flag high-risk employees. Guess who made the top spot on the keyword list? Oh, that's so sweet! Nice work, guys. So people got fired for being our supporters? We should defend them. Not just our supporters. Anybody who's even curious about us. I'm gonna hit their main office. See if I can send a nice severance package to everybody they can. I got a view inside the Farmington's head office now. Gonna hack into their system and redistribute some wealth. That's what I like to hear. Gonna be a fun weekend for the ex Farmington's employees. I just sent them each 10 grand. Won't their accountants spot the error? 
Definitely. But I transferred it out of an illegal account, so they're not going to be able to say anything about it. That's how it's done, people. Damn, Marcus. Stop raising the bar for the rest of us. Yo, Wrench. Yo, M. Damn, man, I hope you kept the receipts. Hey, yo, check out this fuck stick. So tell us about Home 2.0. <laughs> Home systems are completely bulletproof. Your privacy is absolutely secure. Bold claim, Steven. Aren't you worried hacker groups will see that as a challenge? Well, say what you mean, Shirley. Dead sec. Now, if they want to go up against us, I invite them to try. <laughs> Home 2.0 is an OS with teeth. Yo, he called us out by name? Yep. He don't know who he fucking with. It's on now. And that's why I've been trying to crack 2.0. There's just one see, little problem. What? Here, hold this. Stand back. Great. Chip! The little... Hard to get out. Look, there's no point in trying to use the previous version's hardware to jack the new OS. Why? Because they changed the ports. Following the capitalist guide to forced obsolescence. But luckily, a little birdie told me that 2.0 should be packing a farm fresh zero day. Ooh, now that might just be a shame. Damn right. And that is why you, my friend, are going to hijack me a 2.0 pre-order shipments before some do-gooder white hat tells home how to cock block us. You've got a weird relationship with technology. You know that, right? People still seem shocked by in-home surveillance. 
It's been happening for years. Maybe, but there's a difference between worrying about it and finding out it's worse than you feared. It's always worse than you feared. So they need to either accept it or modify all their electronic devices to stop reporting back what they see. I don't think most people know how to do that. We can teach them. Let's teach them. I'll set up a wiki, starting with home. Keep it up and you'll be sorry. Ask 